morning, it's Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to another daily crypto tech review of the US, Ethereum and Ripple and we'll have a look at Bitcoin as well. It is Friday the 19th of June. Jumping straight in to EOS dollar, looking at the hourly candlestick. Been another mixed start to the day, EOS in the red at the time. Uh, going to need to see EOS move through the pivot at 254 to support a run of the first major resistance level that's sitting at 258. Going to need support from that broader market as we continue to talk about to break out from Thursday's high that was at 257.67. Failure to break through that pivot is going to bring the first major support level at 250 into play that was yesterday's low. By an extended sell off, we should see EOS avoid the second major support level sitting at 46.30. Moving across the daily candlestick, we're seeing EOS pretty range bound, stuck in this range of 250 to 240. Going to need to break out through this resistance level of 290 to support a run at the key resistance level of 311s to maintain this near term bullish trend. If we get a pullback through this 242 level, we will see. EOS falls through that key support level of 226 and we're going to then see this downward trend and a reversal of that near-term bullish trend. So we're remaining within this band at the moment. So it's key to maintain above this support level for now. Moving across to Ethereum dollar and the hourly candlestick, bearish start to the day. Going to need to see Ethereum break back through the pivot at 231 to support a run at this First major resistance level at 234.58. Again, we're going to need to see that support from the broader market to break out from early Thursday's high of 234.50. Failure to move back through the pivot could see another pullback today and bring that first major support level at 227.45 into play. Barring extended sell off, we should see Ethereum avoid sub 220s. We got the second major support level sitting at 22.384 to limit the downside. Looking at the daily candlesticks, looks like a make or break moment here for Ethereum. A fall through this day's first major support level will bring sub 220s into play. That would bring the risk of a reversal of that near term bullish trend. We're going to need to see Ethereum avoid that key support level at 176. A breakout from today's resistance levels would bring this key resistance level at 253 and the 23.6% FIB at 257 into play. We're going to need to see a breakout from here to support that near-term bullish trend formed back in mid-March. Moving across to Ripple, XRP and the dollar. Again, another bearish start today. A bit choppy, actually. Um, going to need to see Ripple break back through the pivot at 1906 to support a run at the first major resistance level sitting at 1928. Barring a broad based crypto rally on the day, we're going to see that first major resistance level in Thursday's high at 19,328, probably cap any upside on the day. Failure to break through, back through that pivot is going to bring this first major support level at 1878 into play. We should see Ripple avoid sub 18s, however, on the day. We've got plenty of support sitting on the way to prevent a heavier downside. Looking at the daily candlestick, similar story to EOS and Ethereum. We're going to see a breakout from 2150 levels to give a run at this key resistance level at 2357 that's going to be needed to support this near term bullish trend. Failure to break through today's resistance levels. Could see this support level at 1840 come into play even today that would bring sub 18s and that key support level at 1750 into play later in the week. Moving across to Bitcoin against the dollar and the daily candlestick. We're seeing Bitcoin struggle at 9,500 levels yet again. So that's a bit of an issue for the bulls. And as we're seeing with the MACD, the histograms are suggesting that there may be a widening in the gap, which is a bearish trend 
for Bitcoin on the day. So going to need to see Bitcoin avoid sub 9,000 and the 23.6% fib at 8,900. For the broader market, breakout from 9,500 through to 9,900 is going to be needed to support that near-term bullish trend for the pack.